Hello and welcome to another episode of the F- Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Penton and Gavin Free. I believe this is episode 200, not our 200th episode, but episode 200. That's correct. Cool. <laughs> you sound hot for 200. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> no, you're acting like that's my fault. I said, Just I said that's correct. Hanging. Just could no, have been anything. Could have been anything. This is a Gavin Nothing. issue. I said that's correct. <laughs> Can you imagine New Year's Eve? Five, four, three, two, one. 2024. That's right. Mm. Factually <laughs> accurate. Did your enthusiasm get laid off too, Andrew? What I'm sick. You know I'm sick. <laughs> I've been. I canceled a recording because I'm well, sick. And now you're coming at me. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. I'll be Mr. <laughs> enthusiastic. That's go perfect. ahead, I, Jeff. I, tell me something. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll tell you something. Let's see. Uh, I have a question. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, I wow! Oh shit! Well, Incredible! Yeah. You, well, you don't know the answer to the question yet. You don't know the question. What? I, I might faint if I hear it. This is so exciting. Go ahead. Continue. <laughs> I blew out your throat. Uh, I just wanted to see how everybody's feeling. Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, what a day! It's what like- a great day for 200th episode that isn't actually 200. It sounds like Chris Folly. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, all right, well, that was my only question. Anybody else got anything today? Uh, I don't have a lot because I've been sick, as mentioned before, but I, I, got, I got a few things. You got bad throat? I got a bad, I got bad everything. Bad chest, bad throat, bad sleep. How, how, how are the ankles? Bad, bad ankles. Well, it's all bad. I mean, um, you manifested this, though, by doing the, the, the dog thing. Oh, I'm getting to listen. It's gotten worse. I've had one of the, the, the all-time bad dumb brain weeks I've had in a while. <laughs> To the point where I no longer trust myself on anything. I'm now running by every thought I have because I've had a combination of uh, realizing that Jesus Christ, am I in I'm in a world of my own as far as it's a bad combination of being open to almost any idea being a possibility in some form and uh, just a logic of this makes sense to me. So therefore it works for everyone. I guess I'll do this linearly. In, in my realizations, I've been going through a lot of forms uh, recently, and my partner looked at one of them and said that it's funny. They have you listed as a, a research and architectural assistant as your job. And uh, I was like, oh, I know why that is. And I was, I, was, I was all ready to, like, drop the logic bomb of like, oh, no, you're going to see you're going to see my point in a moment. And I said, <laughs> I have that title. I gave myself that job title. Because when I first started doing contract stuff with Rooster Teeth, I would help Matt Bragg build maps in Minecraft. (laughs) And that's why it's like architecture. And they said, that's not architect. You're playing a video game. That's not architecture. You're not an architect. The government thinks you're an architect. You're not an architect. It would be like if I said that my job was farmer because I played Stardew Valley. That's not what my profession (laughs) is. It has nothing to do. It's just a lie. I've just been lying about what I did at that time in my life. So what form is this on, though? It was a tax form. <laughs> I disagree. Well, you uh, gave it to the government. It's a tax that, form. It's a tax form. I don't know that it's incorrect, though, Andrew. I mean, you're. You were, oh, wow. OK, you're, are you're building in? It may be in a 3D space, but it's still architecture. You're I'm still designing creating stuff. and designing buildings just because they're they're happening virtually and not in a brick and mortar way doesn't make that make it any less architecture. I wouldn't think. Fuck the government. Well, your, the government, government. didn't have a problem. Don't fuck my it, government, America. As... I love you. Please don't audit me. But fuck <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I just never. It, to me, it made all the sense in the world. And then when that point was brought up, I thought, you know what? That is also fair. It never occurred to me that. Someone could read that and think I am an architect, but that that would be an understandable path. I'm going to put uh, Astroneer as my next occupation. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. The uh, the other realization I had shortly after that was I was talking to somebody probably like two weeks ago and they were telling me about how they were getting into painting uh, recently and that they planned on 
They're like, yeah, we we did a painting night. It was a lot of fun. I surprisingly enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I think we're going to get together this weekend and paint someone's cat. I interpreted that as a literal cat painting. I thought I thought that they were going to paint this cat. And I had so many questions. I was like, really? Wow. I've never heard of that before. Like, That's all parents? I said. Yes, I guess. I don't remember that movie. Do they paint the cat in that movie? Yeah. Yeah. He like spray paints the cat at one point. That's great. Now, I was imagining like a group of people sitting around a cat with brushes painting this cat. And I had so many thoughts of like, what type of paint do you use? Like, what would be humane for it? Maybe it's a hairless cat and they're just painting on the skin and that's why it's okay with it. But also, like, what type of cat would be fine with that? Like, I, I've never encountered a cat that would be that relaxed about the act of them being painted. And uh, it just moved on. And that has been in my head for the past two weeks of, I wonder if they painted this cat. Did that cat ever get painted? You know how at kids' birthday parties, they'll paint a cat face on a, on a kid? Yes. Has anyone yeah. ever painted a human face onto a cat? <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I want to see that. <laughs> Is there a celebrity face that immediately comes to mind for you when you think of a cat, cat with a human face? John C. Riley. The oh, idea, the idea of a, at a, at a local state fair or just like a local carnival. There's a fucking, there's a fucking face painting station, but it's only for cats. <laughs> hey, what do you want to paint your cat? You want your cat to be a dog? You want your cat to be a, an accountant, a dragon? What, whatever you want. It's like oh, aggressively God. against like no kids, no kids. It's like, I, I just want, you can't, you got nobody. I don't care. No kids. I'm a cat painter. Oh, they don't do anyone. They've never had a client ever at any fair that they've been booked at. They just stand there and wait for one day. But uh, yeah, I thought their cat was being painted and I lived for two weeks. I wondered like, did, was the cat okay? What, what's on the cat? And so then you're I not really second guessing anything at the moment. I don't second guess anything really in general is the problem. Uh, you're a first guess guy. I'm a not ask questions first guess guy. I'll ask internal <laughs> questions about it, but then uh, if it checks out, it checks out. I went, okay, they're painting a cat. This person's a, a good person. <laughs> they're going to be aware of humane things. It's all above board. I, whatever. This is their thing. They're in the cat. This is, this is probably going to change how I have conversations with you going forward for a little bit. This knowledge. Uh, but I don't trust you in that same way. <laughs> so you so the first the safeguard is okay I'm dealing with this person and then so immediately you loaded the second guess and maybe a third guess because it's Jeff yeah so yeah, you're a face Jeff. value guy unless it's my face no it's uh, unless unless it is a John C. Riley's face on a cat <laughs> that's like, my I'll face, take it a face value, value but but fuck you Jeff my, no, one of I my just, oldest uh, dearest friends yeah, well, Jeff, as you'd say for me, you're always uh, up for a little bit of mischief. There could be some I, jokes going on. I haven't on. trusted a you've thing you've already said to me in declared since we this podcast. A prank is in the works at me. So yeah, whenever the Jeff firewall will ignite, whenever we initiate a talk, but then you know it'll process. And and I'm not saying you're not going to get anything through, but there's a little bit more resistance compared to that. that. Uh, well, I appreciate a challenge. That uh, that prank, by the way. It's so fuck. It got so fucked up by, uh, well, you know, us all losing our jobs and everything. That mm. uh, it's uh, it's really set me back a bit. I'm not even sure where all the elements of the prank are. To be honest with you, I uh, I gotta I gotta put it all back together at some point. Really, really got sidelined. I'm glad. You know what? I've been. You know, I've had actually an issue with you recently, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! <You've>, okay, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you've. <laughs> You've ruined. It's not your fault. It's kind of your fault, but it, it's not your fault. There are few things that gave me joy than hearing that your house was fucked up or that your <laughs> fridge was broken or yeah. that your bike exploded. It always it brought such a laugh. It brought me a lot of joy. Now that you don't have a job like the rest of us, <laughs> it's a lot harder to enjoy those things. And I've been I'm I struggling. That, yeah. I'm still I'm looking for something to fill that that hole I now have and, and the joy that was there from that. And I haven't found it yet. But uh, 
it's not your fault. You didn't close the company, but you were part of making the company. But then it's like a thing of like, if you never made it, then I would never have that joy. It would just would have never existed. So I think it's it's better to have what's the expression? Lost love than never loved at all or whatever. Never to lo- better to love and lo- to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. <laughs> exactly. That's where I'm at with it. But I'm still I'm in that that finding phase of what that new joy will be. Can you imagine if 21 years ago or whatever, uh, m- me and those dipshits, the ugly ones, we didn't start the pot. We didn't start Rooster Teeth together. We wouldn't be talking right now. We wouldn't have each other in our lives. I, I assume. I mean, it would be wild if we did. Like we still managed to come together across three countries and three different generations. <laughs> I don't think I would have uh, made it. Uh, <laughs> Gavin, you and I meet up, but Jeff never, never gets to the full. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. Under no normal circumstances would I ever have crossed Jeff. All right. <laughs> Why well, just how would I fi- how would I found you? I don't know video games. Yeah, <laughs> but you're not a Halo guy. I used to be. That's how Rooster Teeth started. Yeah, but then I'm just not a Halo know. guy anymore because I did it for a thousand fucking years. I was thinking the other day about the uh, you know when we it, this was probably like 2007 and we would go to the office and sometimes we would decide to walk to the office when it was on Congress. And it took like an hour. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. It was a couple miles. And we would we would like talk the whole time. What do you think we were talking about? <laughs> do you ever wonder like what we used to talk about? I we I, it's a great question, Gav. Because in addition to that, when we were working down in Buda and we would drive down to Buda every day together and then drive home, that was like a forty-five minute drive to an hour in traffic. <laughs> we we talked the play. whole time. What did we talk? What? I, it makes me wonder, like, if I saw you tomorrow, what would we talk about? I have no fucking clue. Clearly, we come up with stuff. Yeah, we talk about current things, but I just, I would love to hear, yeah, like, hear a trip down to Buda or a, a nice long a, walk. A walk to, to Congress. Congress. I guarantee you, I don't, I, don't, I, I, I don't know a single thing we talked about, but I guarantee you 40% of it was laughing our asses off. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it would still be funny to hear it. <laughs> if it, one of them was recorded <laughs> or very embarrassing yeah <laughs> yeah oh it's gonna be embarrassing right like i feel like i think it would mainly be jeff lying to me about things <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea where that branch came from you got you got hit by a branch is that what you said <laughs> <laughs> i had nothing to do i i really don't think i had anything to do with that but man what if i did yeah no, i was drinking a lot back then it has it has crossed my mind that it if i could have been <laughs> drunk enough to think it was funny <laughs> But I really don't think so. <laughs> you had alcoholism as the perfect defense. You were just waiting. I really don't think so. I, I was, it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like my move dropping a tree branch on somebody. I'd have maybe <laughs> kicked your foot out from under you while you were walking in the yard or something. But I don't yeah. think I'd drop. I don't think I'd use gravity against you in that way. Or bust into my bedroom to try and kick over all my Xboxes. Well. Oh. Mr. Xbox is over here living the life. All my Xboxes. They're for work. Oh, work. They're for work says. at Jeff's d- j- department. Oh, <laughs> Jeff's department, he says. <laughs> do you. That's really. Why did you kick over all your Xboxes, Jeff, that were in Gavin based on what he said? I don't remember. I'm sh- I, To be honest with you, I bet there was a good reason at the time. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably made a lot of sense in the moment. Oh God! Hey, I uh, I hung out. We hung out without you guys recently, and it was a lot of fun. Me and Eric and Nick all went to a basketball game last uh, week together, which was a, a lot of fun. Well, I shouldn't say we went together. We all went, and we were we were at there at the same time, so we hung out. Um, but we sat like in different seats and stuff. Uh. But while we were there, and I was eating a hot dog as I do at any sporting event, that got me thinking: Is there a food? you can't say no to. Like, it may not be a food that you think about a lot or that you go out of your way to get, but if somebody offers it to you, you've never said no. Dark chocolate-covered almonds. Oh. Mm. I'll always suck one of those down. Uh. Like, you could go years without thinking about them, but the second somebody offers you, no matter how full you are, you're like, well, yeah, I'm going to have a couple Yeah, of I'll those. take three. We're talking like snacks? We're talking like a snack food? It could be anything. Nick says uh, pretzels, uh, chips, and queso. Hmm. Yeah, pretzels are good. Yeah, probably. Uh, immediately, like anything in the chicken realm comes to my, my mind. But there are times Ooh. in which I'd be full. And I probably would reject chicken. So we're talking like 
maybe like a bite of this or a bite of that. Maybe like a like a ketchup chip, a great chip, <laughs> top chip, as we've all uh, agreed, as we've all had a consensus okay. on and nice ketchup chip. So dark chocolate salted almonds and ketchup potato chips. Nick is pretzels, chips and queso. Eric, what about you? Uh, I probably go French fries. I, I don't think that I can say no. To oh, French fries. fries is a good one. They're definitely... so hard, especially if they're right there. It's so hard to say no to. Have they got to be hot? Uh, I mean, I prefer it, but at the same time, I've eaten a lot of cold French fries. Like, I would prefer <laughs> them to be hot, but man, I've eaten cold, cold French fries. So if we went I out ate... for a meal and uh, you yeah. had like a, a starter main dessert uh-huh. and yeah. then I just pulled out a little McDonald's chip. Oh, I'd have some. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it depends on the cut yeah. of fry. No. Yeah. For 80% no. of fry, I would. But there's some. What's a fry you don't like? Yeah, what, what do you not like? What are you turning down? It's not that I dislike. It's there is a wide range of success on a wedge fry. And when it is good, it is mm. great. But there are a lot of bad wedge fries out there. So you would turn down a wedge fry? I think so, yeah. Just because you were, if you didn't understand, if, like the the. If I w- this is a scenario <laughs> in my head that has been set up of if I'm completely full, if I'm like stuffed, and someone's like, "Hey, yeah. you want one of these?" Yeah, well, I would pass on the wedge fry. No, even I, if, I, even if I, you I, knew but it, if was it was cooked like, to perfection. No, if it was well, that's a different thing. If I know it's cooked to perfection, I probably still take it. But if it's like a crinkle cut or a curly fry, I'm not questioning it. I'm just having it. Mm. Just yeah, you're consumed. a you're a first guest guy, so you just go right for it. Yeah, depends on who's holding the fries. Say there was, say I held you up a nice thing. What's the thing that contains fries? A fry container. Container? Fry, yeah, it's fry container. Contain, yeah. They don't have a Say it was like a it was like a nice large. You've got long nice fries coming out. Long long nice fries in a fry container. Got po- it. Poking out of the fries container. Uh-huh. But there's just like a streak of cum across one side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go like the cum has hit maybe three or four fries on the right? Would you still uh-huh. take one from the left? <laughs> well, no, I think no, I thought you were going to go with like and a pickle like we dipped it like pickle touched it and then you wouldn't come. And that's different. And uh, who's no, I, who's cum yeah. is it? Is it his own cum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Before. But hang on. Before you answer that. Does it matter, Jeff? I mean, I'm less grossed out by my body than other people. So if I you assume. cummed on French fries. <laughs> yeah. You'd be eating those fries. Uh, no, nothing that the cum touched. But if it's like brand new, hotly salted, golden, perfectly cooked like McDonald's fries, and there's only three of them that have my cum on them, and there's like 80 fries that don't, I can uh-huh. eat around a little bit. Er, hang on, hang on. Er, let's wait, take no, it out. No, 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 what? You telling me you've never heard of Alabama poutine? <laughs> Just number one dish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like this. Um oh, I love this conversation. Yeah, I don't. I already said no. But you said no let's in general. It, yeah, I would no, I would not eat cum french fries. I'm gonna it wouldn't eat be from the one you ate. I don't want to eat cum french fries. And it's your cum, and you know where it came okay, from, because you put okay, it there. Okay, so let, let's take it out of the realm of french fries. And Gavin, if there was if there was cum on some dark chocolate-covered almonds, you're eating around it? Um, what? How, how were so you, you on me about it, and your say answer is, out, uh. Say there's, like, ten uh-huh. dark chocolate-covered almonds in a line uh-huh. on a table. No, no, they're in a dark chocolate covered almond container. Well, I think that's harder to get out, though. I'm going to be I agree. rummaging yeah, and I'm going to be no, moving I agree with and, you. Yeah. And more cum 100%. will go on more than started with. I feel like with fries, mm-hmm. you're just going to yeah. see some cum on, to- on the top of <laughs> I think. I okay, think fries so- are the only food it's acceptable to <laughs> oh, eat cum oh, is that right? or eat Jeff, around the cum. Jeff, yeah. I've got a hot dog right in front of you, and you, oh! come, and you come on the left side Damn of it. it. You <laughs> come on it's the left fair. side. It, it's even your it's own It's unfair cum. because you, you and I have had come, this conversation already. You, you know my weakness. Wait, you come what? on the left side. So are you eating the right side of the dog? Here's how it's different. What? So I what want, Eric is bringing up is I what know, we yes didn't get no. around to it. Well, I'm gonna get there. Mm. We didn't. I'm gonna give you some. Con, I'm gonna give you some. We got an hour to kill here. I'm you want the contact. truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> Listen, 
I when we got back around to it, it would have come to the point where I admitted that a hot dog is the food that I can't say no to. To the point where if you wanted to kill me, I think you could hand me a Chicago dog and watch me eat it. And as soon as I finished it, you could hand me another Chicago dog and watch me eat it. And as soon as I finished it, you could probably hand me another Chicago dog <laughs> until I died. And I just would never be able to stop that specific hot dog. Here's how I think it's a little bit different. French fries are, 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 it's like multiple items in the same container, right? If you come on part of a hot dog, it's connected. <laughs> that part of the hot dog that's come on is connected to the rest of the hot dog. It's one unit. I think that there's a difference between individual units in, in the same container and a singular, singular unit. I don't think I could eat it because it's, it's the same dog. It'd be like if there was one giant wedge fry and you came on one side of the wedge fry, but not the other. I don't think I could eat the other side of the wedge fry either. So they need to be distinct items. I think so. You couldn't eat the first bite of that hot dog. You're telling me uh, you come is on it the my left cum? side. Yes, you're cum on the yeah, left yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I dog. could. I could eat. I could eat half the hot dog. So, uh, Nick, uh, Eric, are you saying that you would as well? <laughs> no, no. I've already said no to this. You've said no to any I'm... any cum anywhere near your food. Yeah. Okay. We're at a sporting <laughs> event, and I'm just I'm eating I'm eating a bowl of popcorn. Going, why is everybody coming all over the place? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> why? Why did Who this happen? The cum? <laughs> that sounds like a Gavin thing. Was that you? Uh yeah, yeah. That kid is obsessed with jism. I don't know what it is. I thought Ugh. that was a good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. I loved it. Fucking. And, and also, in addition to that conversation. I have a question for you because we named a lot of different kinds of French fries and we've talked about having a potato draft in the past. But what do you think the best fry is? Because we mentioned we mentioned curly fries. We mentioned uh, crinkle cut fries. We mentioned McDonald's fries. We mentioned potato wedges. What about uh, waffle fries? Like there's so many different kinds of French fries that don't have cum on them. What, what do you think is the best? I'd actually argue most don't. Um, I would say <laughs> uh, curly. I like a curly fry with the seasoning. A nice mm. seasoned curly fry. I don't know, but I would say a waffle fry would be the hardest to get cum off. Oh, it's a lost cause. There's no washing the cum off that fry. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> Is this what happens when Gracie's not here? Like, Gracie's not here, and it's just become this. I Listen, I'm not. I wish Gracie was here. I got, I got some statements unrelated to this. What's your favorite French fry, Eric? Uh, What's your favorite just, cumless French fry? My favorite cumless French fry is, I think, just the regular long French fry. I'm a classic French fry guy. Not, mm, not mm. like like a long thin French fry. Yeah, but I, I really, I'll even go like thinner too. That I really like that. But like, I think the best French fry is just the regular, what you would probably call bog standard French fry. Almost like the width of the, uh, like those long skinny fries. Almost like like an Andy Cap fry, but yeah, a real it's, French fry. it's yeah, like yeah, that, I like, like a McDonald's too. size fry, mm. but like. I'll eat any of them, really. Doesn't as long as there's no cum, I'm I'm all the way in. I started to feel bad, uh, like eighty percent into this conversation, that probably a lot of people are going to be eating fries while listening to this. I'm ordering fries right now. I mean, there might be a couple people <laughs> right. coming while listening to this too, so they could just no. like, meet up. I had fries for lunch today. Actually, now that you mention it, oh. Whataburger. They're nice. okay. They're crinkle, right? Whataburger. Ah, uh, they're just regular ass fries. Oh, just regular. Okay. Whataburger's been, Whataburger's, I hate to say it because I fucking love, I ride, ride or die for Whataburger, but their quality's been all over the map the last couple of years. I've never been fussed, never got into it. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know that Whataburger 2024 is the one to get into. I wish I could take you back to like, well, you were here. It was good. It, it was good back in the day. You're a big fan of okay. their first menu? Just hasn't been the same since then? It's just like just the disparity in quality, and I feel like in ingredients, I, I notice it. It's the same thing as like there's a place here called Fly Right that's like a yeah, it's like a burger shop, but it's just chicken. They have like really they used to have really good. They had a sandwich called a cowboy. Cowboy's they amazing. Changed, they, well, it was they changed their ingredients about six months to a year ago. And <gasps> now I can't eat there anymore. It's just oh no. So the yeah, cowboy tastes like, different. It's yeah, so I, yeah, it's like yeah, so I don't know what noticeable. Uh, Jeff's right though. Like the whole thing is right. It's such a bummer. It's such the a patty's bummer. different. It's like it's wild. The cowboy was the one thing that I ordered where I was okay with all the sauce that went down my wrist. Yeah, hoss sauce they called it. It was fucking good. I liked it too. Nick says Panda Express changed their sauces. Yeah, I've n never been able to eat Panda Express. Well, now you definitely can't. 
<laughs> <laughs> we're starting to really dabble into face jam nick territory where he has like uh, some really strong takes on things that you've never thought about once in your no life. this was my wife's take i'm just <laughs> backing her up what's your french fry nick i like a crinkle cut fry because mm. you can get them they, they 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 ride that perfect line of crispness to softness you know what i mean yeah and if you get them just right they're they're money oh so good also ketchup hell yeah hard to beat a nice uh, a nice orida Crinkle cut fry cooked in the oven. Ooh. Air fryer. Ooh, that's I've, the best. Even better. I've been having a weird problem recently where I think I might be in the in Tenet, the movie, because all of my robo calls are backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're just it's just people speaking backwards to me down the phone. And I don't know what to do about it. Like like in Twin Peaks backwards? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in 25 years. What? Can you give an example? Well, I don't know what they're actually saying. I've not been able to record one and play it forwards. <laughs> you, the next time I get called, I'm going to have to... Yeah, Please. how do I record a phone call? Put it on speaker and then just put it next to a microphone? Yeah. yeah. You've, you're, you're talking into one right now, probably. <laughs> yeah, I want, like, your tenant phone call. I need to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like shit and it's backwards. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm desperate to hear this, too. Yeah, what could they possibly be saying? And is it on purpose? Or is their tape got stuck? How many is this? How many are we talking about here? Uh, like three, but three is a lot for backwards phone calls. Backwards women talking to me. That is quite a few. And it's like, and it's like, yeah, yeah. wow. <laughs> and I wonder if the I wonder if the first thing that she says is bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would make sense. Yeah. I want to know if anyone's anyone listening has had these. Because it seems to be a new thing for me. Is this at all connected to the prank against me, Jeff? Is this no, phase I'm one? Not, no, but this is an awesome prank if it was. <laughs> I've, I, I've been getting a different kind of call lately that I've been answering and loving. It's like I'm 12 years old again. I've been having so much fun. I've been getting sales calls for shit. Like I, I got a call from BMW the other day and they're like, hey, man. How's your BMW treating you? And I'm like, I'm on the, I'm in the car with Emily, and she's like, why the fuck are you talking to them? And I'm like, it's great. Well, what, what can I do for you? And they're like, well, you know, it's uh, your car's getting a couple years old now. We figured you probably want to be ready for an upgrade. We wanted to come, uh, wanted to swing by and check out some new models. We wanted to know when we could schedule an appointment to come show you the new, like the new M series. And I get to go. Oh, geez, I'd love to buy a new car, but it's a real bad time. I just lost my job on Monday, and I'm, I'm, I'm broke. I don't know that I'm going to be able to afford my home anymore. So I got a lot to figure out, but uh, definitely keep me in mind. Uh, call me back in a couple months, and they go like, I, 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 okay, I, and they cannot get off the phone fast. It's fucking awesome. What, 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 uh, oh, wait a second. If you're going to have watermelon and half of it, I come on it. Would you still have the watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> so they don't usually bring up cum, but they definitely get off the phone quickly. That's, uh, that's quite the move you have. Uh, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's, if they're going to call me and try to sell me something, I'm going to be honest with them. Now, have you noticed that uh, they have stopped calling because of this? Has this been effective in that way? I've only, I've only had like three calls. Four, maybe, so far. Uh, one was BMW, and then the other three were like insurance or uh, that kind of thing. What if? Uh, <laughs> but if you, usually I would just say no, thank yeah. you, and hang up. But now it's like, well, I got time. I don't have a job. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me make this person uncomfortable for a few minutes. I, I like the idea, though, that this goes against you and they call back again and you got to do the same bit. And they're like, you haven't been employed yet? You haven't <laughs> got still, a job yet? It's I been would two roll weeks. with that person. If that person wants to call me back, I definitely <laughs> would roll with that. I'm shocked. <laughs> Jesus. He's still, this guy's still not employed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, hey, it's Tony from Insurance Warehouse. I just want to call and check in, make sure you're doing okay there, Jeff. You, uh, I know you were looking for pretty looking for a job about three weeks ago. I just wanted to see if you put any feelers out, if you've heard any, you got any interviews. Or just we're just thinking about you over here at Insurance Warehouse. Want to make sure you're doing okay. Update is filed. A hopeless Jeff. This guy still doesn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> they have notes and they're like in their like repo software. Jeff. <laughs> still unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that that's, uh, I mean, if you're going to find positives out of what happened, that's a, that's a way to do it. I, oh, support it. I used to have the best time when I was a little kid and I'd get those calls and they'd be like, can I talk to your mother? And I'm like, what's this about? And they'd be like, oh, we want to talk to her about her insurance warranty. And I'd be like, it's pretty important. Then and they'd be like, yes, it's pretty important. I'm like, OK, I'll go try to get her. She's in the bathroom crying because my dad said that he oh wasn't going to ever come home again. Oh 
Um, and mom was saying something about how we can't live here now. But let me go and knock on the door and see if she'll talk to you. And I'll be like, oh, uh, it's okay. I'll call back later. <laughs> you really have a playbook. You've been <laughs> you've been running the triangle defense on on callers for years. My playbook was to tell the truth to yeah, strangers. You could just lie and make shit up if you want. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's easier to just to just it's the real real world so much more interesting. I lie every time I cancel a service. Oh yeah? Yeah, like I if they too. ever go for like the last minute, the last ditch to like give you a discount. You just say, Oh, I'm leaving the country and they just hang up. Oh, that's your I have a different oh. move. Oh. That's interesting. I always say it's too expensive. Just because I hope that they lower prices at some point. I know they won't, but that is no matter what the re it could be completely irrelevant to that. That's what I always list. Try to trick them to, to lower in lower in the prices on a service I'm not going to use. I don't really know who I'm doing it for, but I don't. That is yeah, my what, move. Just cancel. What are you doing? What are you talking I, about? Well, Gavin, no, just like, said, <laughs> Gavin just said that he lies. So that way they don't try to do that. And you went, here's my trick to get them to lower prices. <laughs> what are what? you talking about? I mean, I, a lot of time they will give you a lower price for like three months or something. Right. Yeah. Wait, and you're, you're not canceling or you are canceling? No, I'm canceling. Yeah. Well, that's what I do. But I'm just, I'm trying to help the common man, I guess. I'm trying to get them to lower their prices. For the he's other giving them feedback by saying, I'm canceling because yeah. it's too expensive. And right. then they're like, well, what if we lower the prices? And he's like, it's $1 is too expensive. Exactly. If they get enough <laughs> of those, they might lower the prices. I'm not taking benefit from it, but uh, somebody, maybe somebody will. You got to love low prices. We're unemployed, Eric. You're against low prices. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm for low prices. I just don't know in my lifetime that things have ever gone down in price. So... Uh, I don't you know, know that's that, a, a very fair argument. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just in general, it just doesn't, you know, I don't typically see it. I can't believe how much TV costs. Like, I don't know, YouTube TV. Or, and now are we talking about actual? Okay. Yeah. Like the subscription. <laughs> yeah. yeah like channels. Like actual TV is TV also channels. still expensive. It's absolutely obscene in this country. So are phone bills. Oh, I'm good with that. You got so <laughs> how much does how much does TV cost in America versus a comparable package in England? I don't know. I never paid for anything in England. <laughs> well, see, you really don't know how much shit costs in England because your mom paid for it all. Well, we just didn't I wouldn't really have it. I, I think Sky mm. is quite expensive, but I don't. But don't it's everywhere. Don't, don't you need a TV license or something? Uh, yeah, if you watch live TV, you have to uh, <laughs> pay the license and that funds... The BBC. How much is that fee? I don't know. I think it's gone up quite a lot since I was living there. I think it's actually cheaper as well. I don't know if this is the same, uh, because who knows how many are around. I think it was a cheaper license if you had a black and white TV. Oh. I got is there a guy who TV comes to your house and looks at license. your TV? Well, I think they used to scare people by saying there was a van that would drive around and, and it would be able to detect if you're... Using the TV <laughs> signal. <laughs> a nation afraid of a person in a van? <laughs> that, I mean, we had the same thing in America with stealing cable, though. Oh, the, okay. 2024, the TV license fee is to rise by £10.50. What? what? To £169.50. That is pretty what? pricey. A year or a month? That's uh, for the year, I think. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's too much. Yeah. Period. Aren't there, like, yeah. ads on TV? Yeah. Uh, no, not on the BBC. All right. So, so Nick said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BBC's just like channel one and two. People I don't know who always, to believe. <laughs> people always bitch about how, like, how there's so many ads on American TV, and I guess they are, but we also don't have to pay to watch over the air television. Like, you're paying 150 bucks or whatever a year in England to get ad free BBC, but you still got to pay for BBC. I mean, they, I guess wild. they were just doing the ad free model before all these streaming services. Yeah, I just I never considered that. That's that's I never thought about it that way. But you you're paying just the same. That's really that's hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you can get by without paying it. Like I think if you technically if you don't use live TV, you don't Like if you just have Netflix, you wouldn't have to pay it. <laughs> yeah, like I just don't know Netflix. how strict they are about that though. There's a whole network that their whole pitch is live TV like 10 second delayed TV. Just get around the fee. You're close. You're going to be a little bit behind on the sporting event. You're not going to be with everybody else, but you avoid the fee. Genius.
This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Relationships are an incredibly complicated thing. They take a lot of effort. Um, not always every relationship, but to have a healthy dynamic with the people in your life, I have found that it has taken work um, in certain cases. At I have gained a lot of knowledge from through therapy, being able to talk to someone and just gain an awareness of things that uh, I may not even be aware of. A common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be right. That's certainly not true. But sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone. Therapy is something that has changed my life. I would highly recommend it as a process to anyone to go through. I just think it's so healthy and uh, it, it adds a lot. It has been a real impactful thing that I've experienced in my life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash face today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Get ready for the season ahead with quality shades built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered with premium polarized shades that won't break the bank. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company offering a world-class product rated five stars by over 300,000 people. Their shades have durable frames and are crystal clear optics, making them the perfect choice for all outdoor adventures. They have hundreds of options to choose from, so you're bound to find the perfect pair to match your style. I love my Shady Rays. They look awesome. They have so many different style choices for different moods, whether I'm doing something casual outdoors or more engaging. Uh, they, they just have any option to fit your life. Plus, they have fantastic protection. If your shades ever go missing or take an unexpected hit, don't sweat it. They have the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair is backed by lost or broken replacements. If you don't love your shades, exchange for a new pair or return worry-free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Their team always has your back with personal and fast support. Exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out the best deal of the season. Head to ShadyRays.com and use code FACE24 for 35% off polarized sunglasses and snow goggles. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. Hello, we are here to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2. In my opinion, one of the most anticipated games of the year. It's available now for you to get, but it is an just amazing title of third person action. The combat in it is so cool. It also has incredibly deep customizable options, which I think is so essential when you're playing like an open world game like this, uh, where you're, you're creating a character you're going to spend countless hours with being able to make something that is a reflection of you enhances the experience so much. And with the level of depth of the character creator, you're going to be able to, to really shape something that you think will be awesome or silly or really whatever tone you're going for. I personally love to make really silly looking characters in games like this, but it's whatever you choose to do. Plus, another really cool thing about Dragon's Dogma 2 is that you can have pawns, which are essentially like sidekicks, and you can join a guild and then have two additional pawns join you through that process, and they get uploaded online. So you could create a pawn and then have them be downloadable for other players to, to collect or, or pull into their own worlds, which I think is such a cool way of sharing characters and once again encouraging character creation which i think is such a an important thing for games i think character creators are so cool um there's so many depth of locations in dragon's dogma 2 you can choose over 10 different uh places for the arisen uh and your main pawn to explore it has a rich explorable world i mean just going from point to point you're going to stumble into so many different things it's really about the journey of the world in my experience so far. Um, 
If you're excited about Dragon's Dogma 2 like I am, uh, you should definitely check it out. It's awesome. It's a really cool game. Take on the dragon. Make your pawns. Make your character. Show, I'd love to see if you want to tweet at me or whatever. Whatever character you make, I'd love to see them. The combat's really in-depth. You have so many classes to choose from. You can switch between them whenever you'd like. It's just, it's, it's so cool. Dragon's Dogma 2 is an amazing game. It's so much fun. I'd highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, that's that's about it. Thank you. Bye. God, man, we were we were in England during the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight. Um, that's a boxing match. Not a big yep. deal to you guys, but Tyson Fury is British. No, I and uh, it was a big deal. It was at like Wembley Stadium. And I briefly thought, oh, maybe we'll try to go, but it was going to be way too expensive. And I didn't want to try to navigate from my hotel all the way to there and back. And, you know, on at like 3 p.m. on a Saturday on a whim. And so I thought, well, I'll just buy the fight. Emily and I can watch it in the hotel room. It took me about three hours to figure out how to buy a boxing match in England <laughs> on British TV. It was so goddamn complicated. And I had to use two VPNs to do it. It was fucking <laughs> insanity but i did it it was the hardest thing i've ever done in my entire life i don't know if this is still the case but i don't believe that there was a pay-per-view system even in in london or whatever uh until relatively recently because in really? the past like if you're gonna uh like stream a ufc event or whatever all the illegal streams were like the the british uh networks coverage of it because they would just air on Sky or whatever. Like it mm. was part of the basic cable package because they didn't have a pay per view infrastructure at that time. I think Sky is what I eventually was able to buy it through, but it wasn't easy um, oh. at all. <laughs> it's Sky always usually mess. satellite TV. Yeah, it was really, it was really difficult. I don't remember. It was, it was, it, I was able to do it eventually, but, and then we were able to watch it on my iPad, but it was fucking hard. <laughs> Which was, was that? Uh, no, of course not. It's never worth it. It's never worth it. Was <laughs> it the second fight or the third fight? It was the third fight. It was the last. Okay, fight. I was gonna say because the second fight that was a, was that a first round or second round knockout? I think this. I think it was. And I'm yeah. a. I, li I mean, I like both boxers, but I'm from Alabama. Deontay Wilder from Alabama, so I was kind of like had an affinity for him, and I want. I just wanted to see him do well in that third fight, and then. Yeah. What was it that you used to always have to call up for? I think it was like every time you tried to watch Always Sunny or something, something would be wrong with... Do you remember what you used to kept having to be on the phone about? <sighs> I had to call every time any of you bought a video game on my credit card. <laughs> oh, on, yeah. the, on, the, on the company <laughs> Amex. Was that separate every, to the Always Sunny thing? Yeah. I, I don't remember this specifically, the Always Sunny thing, but every single time you guys... <laughs> bought a video game <laughs> on steam specifically and anytime we bought a video game we bought it six times right because there were six of yeah. us, and everything was multiplayer and we never knew who was going to be available so even if it was a four player you had to get six because you needed to have people to rotate in and out and shit right and so every time you guys would buy a game it would lock my credit card and i'd have to call american express and go through <laughs> six or seven minutes of of the most inane and frustrating conversation where i would literally go okay listen I'm about to buy this video game again in five minutes. It's not, don't, don't lock my card. I'm telling you in advance, I'm going to buy it. And they're like, okay, got it. No problem. Can I stay on the phone with you while I buy it? And they'd be like, no, sir, we're not allowed to stay on the phone while you're making purchases. But uh, we've got a note. We've, it, it's, it's, we've I made a note in your, in your account. So you should be good to go. And I go, okay, cool. Buy it locked. Call them up. You lied to me. And they'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't get you to that agent, but uh, I'm happy to unlock the card for you. And you just do that all day long, every day for like seven years. <laughs> you guys hear? Hopeless Jeff is about to buy six Steam games. Call him God back each time. Damn. We can't trust this. Man's about to lose his card. God, it was fucking brutal. I hated it so much. You could have just not. Oh, I guess if you didn't answer. Yeah, you had. Yeah, no, you're fine. I never once won in that situation. Like it never worked. I never, I never, I never got the note. To, I it never, it never worked the second time. It was, it was a hundred percent failure. A hundred percent of the time, we tried to do it over and over and over and over again for so many years. That's incredible.
I would. Yeah, I, Gavin, Gavin got me all sad thinking about that. <laughs> Sorry. Like, that was, was like the bane. It was the bane of my existence for a while. I would get so mad and I would just start screaming at people and I'd turn around and there'd be three people from Achievement Hunter filming me on their phones laughing and it was always like a thing. It used to drive me nuts. <laughs> We're not even going to make a video in this game. This is the video. Oh, this is, yeah. We're not even playing this. <laughs> oh, I had a business idea. I had a realization. Uh, I'm not going to claim that it is as good as Thank Me Later. But <laughs> I, I realized I was in a, a line for drive through at a McDonald's. And that I, the, the notion of McDonald's being fast food or just fast food in general. I feel like we're really not emphasizing on the fast of the fast food anymore. Things are slower. So I had this thought. You guys can, can hear me out if you think this is a good idea or not. Uh, a food truck that never stops moving. And you order, <laughs> you're always in motion. And you have to try to make the orders at stoplights and then go. So it has to be quick. I'm thinking like a burger truck or that type of thing. Just something, something that would keep fast food fast. Because I don't think fast food is fast anymore. I'd argue it's relatively slow. What if it experience. wasn't, you didn't have to catch up with it on the road, but it moved as fast as your car moves through a drive through but for you on foot? Yeah. So it would be, it, instead of you moving through, it would just move past you and you would do all the transaction as it moves. That's a fascinating idea. Kind of like those Japanese super trains that never stop moving, and then you get on the platform, and then the platform starts to move to catch up to yeah. the train, and then you transfer oh. over. Like that, be you know, you know where that would That's be a, a better a idea. Great place to implement that, Andrew, would be in like gridlock. Oh when yeah, you're just like crawling along, and then suddenly like. Like Jack in the Box is crawling up next to you, oh, going, "Hey man, great. you want a jumbo Jack?" And you could just like fucking, oh, that'd be that's brilliant. I bet in future they could have it like a McDonald's van that would show up on your on your car's dash in some way, and you could just if it's mm. if it's within like half a mile and it's coming your way, you could just place the order and it would throw it through your window. No, well, that was part of my thought. Was then like how fast. Because you, for how physics work, right? You, you'd have to throw at the same speed you were moving for it to cross. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Well, no. Well, like if, if, if <laughs> well, then, well, then just say no. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I mean, it would, what part it would was be, right? It would be moving at the same speed as your car and their car, but you wouldn't have to throw it at that speed. I thought that if you threw at a lesser sp oh, I guess it would be moving. <laughs> like, if, if I'm going 70, and you're going 70, and you throw it at 70 into my face, I'm going to die. Yeah. Well, maybe not. It could be a potato bun. It could be a soft, fluffy bun. I'm sure any bun, bun hitting side. me in the face is 70 miles an hour. It's going to leave a pretty No, you're den. ridiculous. Ridiculous. You think a potato bun at 70 miles per hour is going to do damage to you? I think a potato bun would, but what about a Parker House roll or something softer, yeah. maybe? Like a Hawaiian roll. So you're saying I, I can make like a little PVC pipe, pressurize it to the right PSI that it'll come out at 70 miles an hour, and you'd let me shoot it into your face? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> That's, I mean, well, think about that. That's about as fast as I can throw a baseball. Would you want yeah. to hit by... <laughs> Well, baseball's a, a lot hard. Hour. No, a baseball's hard. I'm talking a soft, <laughs> fluffy bun, like a marshmallow. I take a. Do marshmallow you think if you tried eight. to catch it in your mouth, it would knock your teeth out? Um, first of all, we're not doing that. As someone, we're a root canal solidarity, Jeff. We're not. You don't do that. <laughs> the teeth are, are like the number one weak point at this point for me. I don't, I'm not oh dealing God. with that. Ever since that tooth popped off, and I and I just easily got it put back on. Like it was no big deal, no pain, no nothing. Uh, but ever since that day, every time I eat, I just all I can think about is my teeth falling out while I'm eating. And it just makes me not want to eat food anymore. It should make uh, you not want to eat candy anymore. I don't. I have it. I can't. I'm scared of it. <laughs> food is fine. No, I'm scared of it. Fuck. <laughs> food is good. It is a good point. I don't think you've ever lost it to like general food. It's been candy, right? Both times. It was, uh, Mike and Ike and uh, saltwater oh, taffy. Man, no one ever Mike loses a tooth to mashed potato. Maybe that's what, well, I'm, apparently I got a lot of hot dogs in my future, so hopefully, hopefully they're clear. <laughs> Mike and Ike sounds like a Depression era boxer. You lost your tooth to Mike and Ike. <laughs> Heavyweight champ of the world. Wasn't even good, Mike and Ike. It was like a fucking like 
flavors of the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Weird combinations. Ugh. So, Andrew, how fast would you throw the food? I don't know how fast I could throw it. I, I just thought that I had to throw it at the speed, which would then make it more complicated. I mean, if you were like, still and the car was 70, then you would have to throw it 70. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not getting to that car. It's, uh, I'd have to angle it really far ahead, and even then I don't trust it. I don't, I don't think I'd make it. I thought that I had to throw, because I thought it would just zip out. You know, like when a guy gets sucked out of a plane in a movie, I assume that that's what would happen when I threw the burger out. It, unless it was the same <laughs> speed, it Why immediately it, just uh, go whoosh. I mean, it would if it you would. threw the burger out of the hole of a plane while it's yeah. moving. Yeah, or if there was like a big gap between the cars. The, if you're throwing from one car to another, there'll be a lot of wind resistance going the other way. Yeah, mm. it'd be like four feet is what I, I don't know, three feet. How far apart would you say cars are when they're driving? You'd be pretty close. Pretty close. You can food. touch it. You can touch another car from your car pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> We've got we a video Gavin, on that. I, Gavin and I used to play this game called Car Touching. <laughs> Traffic Touching. And uh, I didn't ever play, but I did film it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've spent most of my life in this country trying not to draw attention or cause a fuss. <laughs> <laughs> you picked pick the wrong guy to live with for 10 years. Yeah, boy, did I. <laughs> Uh, you were saying that fast food's not fast in, in it's not. Uh, Canada anymore. Do you guys have the thing in Canada? I, I, I assume they do this all over now. It's a, like a post-pandemic thing. But do you have the thing where you go to a McDonald's and you, you literally go up to them and you go, I'd like a number one. And they go, all right, that'd be $9 or whatever because shit's yeah. expensive now. And you spin around and you go to the first window and you give them your credit card. And then they ask if you want a receipt and you go, absolutely not. And they go, no problem. And then you drive up to the second window and then they hand you a soda and they go, please pull into space number 14. We'll, have your, we'll bring your food out to you eventually. And you're like, it was just one hamburger and one fry. Yeah. Like the main thing you guys make, it's a number one, it's a Big Mac, like you should have 80 of them. And you're like, really? And they're like, yeah, you got to go fucking sit over there for a while. And you go, I guess. And then you go sit there for one to 13 minutes while you wait to get your food. Do they I do mean, that? It's yeah, yeah nice I consistently fresh, get that with nuggets. Yeah. I, I, it would have been fresher if they'd handed it to me out the, out the window. No, nah, I would have been sat there right next to them the whole, for like no, nah, I don't buy that for a I don't nah, I've that definitely gotten hot food and not waited. I don't, it's, it's for me, I always blame nuggets. I feel well, like it's hot nuggets mean fresh. Always. I've also gotten not hot and not fresh food and waited. Like, I don't think it has anything to do. I think that that, I think that they, having you drive up to a parking spot has something to do with the timing that they have to, they have to turn and burn and that probably corporate has them clocking how, how long it takes them per average customer. And they're trying to stay under some sort of a threshold, but I don't think it, I don't think it affects the, how fresh your food is at all. Personally. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I've definitely experienced that. It is annoying. We were going to do that uh, hot dog gun over the building, weren't we? I was thinking that. That's I was fast. literally oh. about to bring that up. It's, it, I don't know if it, it actually, I was going to say it's sadder. It might be funnier that the, it's no longer the, the offices anymore. It's just a building. <laughs> Doesn't mean we can't still right. do it there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think it's actually funnier that it's not associated. We have no we, business he, being there anymore. <laughs> he, you know what'd be fun is we do it. All right. We, we, we show up and we do it. We got it. We definitely have to do this. But then once we've established that it's doable, then we have to find bigger buildings to do it. And we just have to see like how tall of a building we can shoot a hot dog over. Okay. What about, what about this, Jeff? Think about this hypothetical for you. A little thing to, to, to ponder. The hot dog has come on it before it flies out of the tube God. and it all launches off. In the air, do you, do you eat the here. dog? <laughs> I did. I mean, that depends on how windy it is. I guess. A oh, very. Uh, windy. What if, like, what if we modify it too? Like, what if we find a building that's seven or eight stories tall? I could go up to like the sixth story, stick my head out a window, and see if you can hit me. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to die! Well, like, so like, what another? Like, here's another fantastic uh, business idea for Andrew. You're delivering food to people uh, in cars while they're moving fast food. What if you, uh, it's the next evol evolution from Uber Eats. Instead of buzzing somebody up to your fucking floor so they can leave the food in front of your apartment door, you just open your window and they shoot it via pneumatic gun right into your hands or mouth. I definitely prefer hands, I think, than mouth. Yeah, you got the choice. Yeah, I guess <laughs> choice is never an issue. 
<laughs> you want choice. <laughs> you Eric, what is the photo that Eric just Did sent? that woman get glanced? Oh, she got t-shirt cannon, I'm assuming, out of a hot dog gun. Hot dog, the Phillies fanatic, shot a woman in the face with a hot dog cannon. It launches <laughs> a hot dog out of the hot dog cannon, and she got hit with it. Now, see, the mistake she made was she tried to catch it with her right eye. She should have used her hands or her mouth. She she had so, she had shoulder surgery and could not move her right arm to block Oh, it. no. Oh, dear. Any other thoughts, Jeff? Anything else you want to slander this woman with? Just curious. Where was that left arm? Well, I don't think I'm slandering her, but if, I, if you have shoulder surgery, maybe uh-huh. don't order Uber Eats now to your window. <laughs> I feel like there should be a service that's very similar to a sushi conveyor belt, except above the, your town would be balloons holding food. And there'd be a little, a little blimps. There'd be a little QR code on the blimp. You scan right. it. Okay. You find out what food it's got. And if you want it, you pay for it. And it pops and it drops you your food. What if, in, what if you do it more like Animal Crossing and you just have to shoot the food yeah, down? Yeah, you got to shoot it down. You shoot 100%. Is what you get. Wow. Yeah. That could work. I don't know how you'd pay for it. Uh, I don't know. Honor system. You scan the QR code with whatever hits the ground. Let me introduce you to Amazon bullets. They scan <laughs> as they pop, <laughs> and you get charged based off of a weapon. I don't know. I, I the issue mainly, Gavin, is birds. I feel like with your system, there's going to be a lot of fucking fed birds. There's going. I don't be- think birds like balloons, though. <laughs> Do you think birds would land on balloon food? It'd be it'd be enclosed. Oh, see, I was just imagining a hot dog on a string. Just like a bowl of spaghetti on a yeah, balloon. Yeah, just a, just a bowl of the- spaghetti. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was picturing. <laughs> and a bird isn't going to go to that? The bird me. doesn't like spaghetti? <laughs> the bird loves spaghetti. You kidding me? This is an Italian bird. He didn't expect to find food of this kind when he Im- was th- migrated. I was going to say immigrated. That's not the word. Migrated. <laughs> I mean, sort of like immigrating. I mean, like, they both could. Depends on, yeah. Did the bird move his family to a, a different country from from Italy? The bird keeps in touch with his nephew via <laughs> Skype, and they made a whole commercial about it. <laughs> it is very touching. That's the throwback. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How's it going, Granddad? <laughs> 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 It's just ruffling of a bag. Nice reference to a 2005 <laughs> Skype commercial. How old were you? Oh, I like to keep my references timely. I was 11. How old was the person in <laughs> the commercial? Why would you be asked how old you were? <laughs> I heard a question. It wasn't aimed at anyone. Yeah, I answered it. Hey, how old were you when you watched that commercial? <laughs> oh, I was, I was 28, I think. I believe that was last uh, year. Maybe maybe two years uh, ago. I how old were you, Gavin? 17? It's like when... And in in our text conversation yesterday, Eric asked Andrew how he was doing, and Gavin goes, "I'm feeling pretty good." Gavin for was good. just <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fine. Oh, cool. I mean, that's good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'd already come out of the the text conversation, so I was just replying to the notification. You know, when you can just like drag the thing that pops up the top of your screen, and then yeah. I went in back in. I was like, "Oh, that wasn't to me." <laughs> I appreciated knowing how you yeah, were, though. I thought that know. was nice. Yeah. I mean, I guess it was like too. a question for the room, so I guess that's nice. I was <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, just being chatty. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Um, we're, we're close to wrapping up, so just before whatever the next topic is, I just want to say that our last merch drop for F- Face is this Friday the 29th at 10 a.m. It's our final one on the 29th, uh, so... Couple days after you hear this, that's happening. It's the cookbook. It's the Sloppy Joe's jersey. Uh, it's the face hat, and it's our foam fingers. So, uh, last chance for romance. Get the face stuff. Can I ask a question that might sound uh, annoying, and I don't mean it to be, but it's I have a gen- and you may not have the answer to this, but I'm genuinely curious. Is this stuff going to launch at full price and then be reduced to a dollar a day later? Hey, so. Andrew already worked on this with the merch team. We've lowered the prices to the lowest possible, like almost to like the factory cost of okay. this stuff. So 
the mer like it's still it's not a dollar but it uh the msrp on this stuff is a lot lower than you would have seen like there's no margin on it it's just okay what we're, well essentially so they're, what we're so they're just trying they're not trying to make money off this they're just trying to get nope, warner is, brothers they're just trying to reduce inventory and get it yeah yeah this okay. is the, because That's, it's already stuff that we made this yeah. is stuff that we have and it was on its way to getting shipped and created and everything so this That's, is the last drop Ever. That's great. I just didn't want to unintentionally screw over a lot of people who, you know, went to the effort to buy. No, I, my, for them, like, I, I mean, deeply, deeply discounted. Like, I, I will say I don't anticipate this stuff being around for very long. Um, yeah. You know, we're making the cookbook and we're making the jersey and, and it's the reproduction of the face hat and everything. I just I don't think it's going to stick around for very long. So grab it. This Do, Friday. Uh, you know what's not going to come out now, unfortunately, that we and by we, I mean, mostly Tony. But everybody, and Andrew, everybody everybody put a fair amount of work into it, but nobody compared to Tony. But uh, we were in the middle of putting out, of making those trading cards. And, uh, uh, face what? Trading cards. No, I'm, I'm and just kidding. I, I, I don't see any way where those are actually going to no. come out now, unfortunately. Can we talk oh, about a couple of not. things? A yeah. couple of things that we were in the process of making that I'm really bummed. We were going to do more Gerplers, and uh, I mean, that's yeah. always like a lot of fun in everything. But the stuff that had been worked on by the merch team was the backpack shirt oh, and hoodie. We're losing mm. backpack. I, I, I mean, we just we aren't going to be able to make it. I'm going to drop a couple of photos because I want to remember to post these. So Ari on the merch team put it together, and I had Cat model it. And the photo, <laughs> like, they're so they look. This looks insane. The yeah. backpack hoodie is so fucking crazy. It's so crazy. I'm so bummed we can't make it. I like the the little uh, strings even on the back oh, of the backpack. They had so so they had to figure out how the strings would go through. So they punched holes so you could have the strings go forward through both hoods and backwards through both hoods. It's it, fucking brilliant. It was great. It was genius. I I'm so bummed we aren't uh, making that uh, because we don't have jobs. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll we'll uh, who knows what the future holds someday in the so the distant future holds. But speaking of merch that I was way more excited about than uh, than it, than I was when I looked at the pictures, the little freaking shoulder falcon is so cool. I just got mine. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I've yeah. been and I've invented a new game. It's called Pin the Falcon on the Dick. Jesus Christ! Where you put the magnet uh, next to your penis, and then you have people try and throw the falcon. And man, is it satisfying when it lands. I wonder how far apart well, we could get. We got to film that, right? Yeah, I think so. Everyone, okay. everyone puts the magnet in their pants and then we just have like a falcon war. 100%. 100%. Who, uh... We put a magnet in a hot dog? Can we, can we do that as well? That seems dangerous. <laughs> oh, dude, that's smart, though. You can put it and then tie put it, in the tie it to a string and then oh. you eat the hot dog and then you can pull it back out and then eat it again. Uh, and you did one hot dog forever. Um, how many episodes of F Face do we have left? Do we know? Uh, we should talk about it's something that we needed to talk about. I mean, are we going up until the very last day? Because uh, is this the twenty you know, seventh episode? Yes, that is correct. Uh, okay, so it'll one, be like another two, month's three, worth four, in like two weeks. Five, one, two, three, four, six, five, seven, six. I'm looking at six, not including this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So six more after yeah. this, if we're going all the way up. So the 8th okay. of May is the final f face. I believe so. Uh, Man, that's sad to say out loud. Yep. Well, you know, never say never, but they, it doesn't, it's not the, it's not the final, uh, it's not the final, it's. <laughs> never oh, say it. never, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess it, technically you're right, but like, we'll do something like there'll be something next. It may not be called face, but it'll be this, or it will be called face, and it'll be this. I we just don't know, <laughs> but it'll be something. Oh, it'll be something. I'm not saying it there'll be nothing. Be something. Never say nothing. <laughs> There's got to be something. What's gonna come out on the fifteenth? Something. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I thought of you, Gavin, the other other night. I was eating oh, a piece nice. of pizza, and I almost choked to death. Like it was the closest. <laughs> I've gotten to choking on food and I, I don't know the Heinlich, so I almost certainly would die. Um, and I thought as soon as it happened, the first thing that popped in my head is I'm in a different dimension. 
I definitely just died. I'm in a different dimension now. I've transferred over. And uh, did your life get shittier afterwards? Well, I got sick shortly after. So yeah, I think it's, I, you might be right. You might, yeah, you, you might just, have figured this you out. You transitioned into the universe where you didn't choke to death. Oh man. That's apparently a thing. That's apparently like a, people are saying it's called like about quantum it, yeah. immortality or something. Like a, a popular theory. I didn't realize. Yeah, you're not so special. Other people thought of it first. Oh, I didn't think I was special. <laughs> I, I didn't think I came up with it. Though. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought I invented machinima. <laughs> turns out I didn't. <laughs> it, it turns out I didn't even come close. We, we invented cum dogs, though, did we? No. I, I mean, I, you know, I would Google, Google and Google. look it up. I don't want to Google it to look it up. I'm going to do so. it. I'll do it. I'm okay. not scared of dicks. Great. Uh, no pictures, please. Do I really, Ooh. I Gavin's Ooh. Gavin's immortality. I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have looked it up. I shouldn't. Yeah, have looked it no, up. that's right. I shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, well, not with that phrasing. I, I, I mm -hmm. shouldn't. Have, no. Yeah. Uh, Eric, what if there was a yeah. hot dog uh. sausage, like the actual uh -huh. yeah. meat, mm -hmm. and it was, and it had string tied around it, and on the other end of the string, it was tied around my penis. Now it's not touching my penis. Uh huh. But would you eat the dog there? Uh, no, because hot dog wasn't my food. Uh, How so long is the no, string? Eat the hot dog. Okay, it's a, Jeff. It's a, Jeff it's a immediately. Jeff, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> Jeff unprompted up. is asking the length of the string. The question wasn't for him, but he heard there's a hot dog. It's a three inch <laughs> of string. That's not enough string. Yeah, it's too, too close. Three inches of clearance. Wait, I don't want to be three inches from your open dick. It's my dick's not open. So, so wait, <laughs> is this? Are we talking about a oh, lady like the just the string is, is the string just coming out of your pants? Yeah, it could be coming out of my flies, but uh, it, it is yeah. tied around the neck of my penis. But I got three inches outside <laughs> of the pants. You got three inches total on the string. I got, it's, it sounds like you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I might do it. All right. And Eric, now it's a fry. Yeah, if it's just through your fly, sure. So you'd eat fly fry? Absolutely. All right. It'd have to be a curly fry. <laughs> I'm not a pig. <laughs> Again, Andrew unprompted, not asked, is, no, is putting this I'm together so of, he I'm can about, do it. I'm thinking about the logistics of the fry being on your dick. It would have to be a curly fry for this, Why? the, the whole. Oh, you mean it's not wrapped it. around my. Well, that's how that else it's is it wrapped, getting held like up? It's, like it's spiraled around his dick? Is that that's what you're what picturing? I assume, yeah. I thought we're, we're going the full dick here. Are you going to have a steak? For, uh, I mean, nobody. I mean, just to be clear, that's not what we were talking about, right? And he knows that. No, I, I thought <laughs> I thought we were talking about like a lady in the tramp situation, but it's a dick on the other side. And what's the distance before you, you, you cut it off? You play chicken with it. Where would the string come into it? Well, I don't know. You know, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think he decided it's a lady in the tramp situation and then stopped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's the first yeah. guest guy. And that was what he yeah. guessed at. So yeah. That's what it, yeah. But he's both the so lady and the tramp have been man. painted with the faces of children. <laughs> oh, God. No, we can't continue. What are you doing? So is the food you can't say no to? Like for me, it's the hot dog. For Eric, it's the French fry. Also the same food that you would eat the closest to a cock? I feel like my answer might be different if it was just like purely eating food close to dicks. Like I might not want a hot dog. <laughs> it's a little, it's too, a little foul. Like a hot dog, yeah. banana. The, yeah, the, maybe yeah. I'd want <laughs> Whoopsie. something round. <laughs> Whoopsie. I don't know. Hamburger. Whoopsie. What if there it is? What if Jeff? There's ten <laughs> hot dogs on the table, and they're drowned <laughs> in ketchup and mustard to the point where you can't see the dog. But what? Oh uh, yeah. Um, and obviously one of them is a penis, but you don't know which. Are you bobbing for dogs? Would you go in and just bite one of the dogs and just hope you got a dog? I mean, you better hope I get a dog, because otherwise... <laughs> it's not my dick. Oh, whose dick is it? It's Nick's dick. What? Why? I don't know. Why's it gotta be Nick's... <laughs> because he's the condiment guy. No, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Uh, no, I don't think I would because, uh, A, I don't like that much condiment on my hot dog. That's all. Uh -uh. Enough ketchup and mustard to cover it so I couldn't tell if it was a hot dog or a cock. I think I'd, I, yeah, I don't think I would eat a hot dog that slathered in sauce. I'm not a big sauce guy. I'm not Nick. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. I'd yeah, be able you... to tell. Less is more for Oh, me. 
Oh, Mr. Not a Big Sauce Guy dies on Condiment Hill. How fascinating. I wouldn't say I died on the hill. I would say I fucking reigned supreme on it by being technically correct. He yelled from the hill. He did. (laughs) All right, we should should wrap this one up. We only got six minutes. Woo! What an episode! What a great (laughs) show! (laughs) Enthusiasm all the way to the end. I love it. Yeah. Amazing. (laughs) By the way, Gavin, would you... Uh, I've got ninety percent chance of not biting a penis. Yeah, I probably would. I'd, I'd roll the dice on that. You'd roll the dice. What's the least number of hot dogs you'd roll the dice on? If I took one away and it was nine hot dogs, would you still try it? Oh, you would take away a dog instead of adding a second dick. Yeah, like oh. I just take away dogs. Um, do you, do you do it at eight? I'd probably go no lower than seven. Seven's my dog number. So you've got a one in seven chance of eating a dick. Yeah. Which is slightly more than the roll of a dice. Yeah, that's those are pretty good odds. If it wasn't all gross and covered in uh, uh, like if I, I if I couldn't tell if it was a dick or a hot dog, <laughs> but I also didn't have to eat too much ketchup and mustard, <laughs> I'm, I'd probably try those odds. That's not bad. And then what's the worst thing that happens? The worst thing that happens is you have a dick in your mouth for three seconds, and then, you, and then you're just the guy yeah. who had a dick in his mouth for three seconds for the rest of your life. You've got that out of the way. That's a joke people get to make at your expense forever. And then you can just enjoy phallic shit again, I guess, after that, probably. I mean, do you have a dice nearby? What uh, scenario is this? I don't. Like- I don't. <laughs> do you? No. I mean, I can do an online. Oh, I have the. I can do, do an online do dice. Do an right? online dice, and we'll say that, you know, pick a number on the dice, and that's the dick. Let's see if you get it. All right, I'm going to eat a hot dog, one in six chance. Uh, well, let's say the... Are you sharing your screen? Oh, here, let me... oh you have to. Also, I just want to point out, I'm not trying to hurry this along because I'm so fucking fascinated by what's going on right now. I have to see it through. I, I've just realized this is the shit we were talking about in the car on the way to Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see it. All right, here we go. So here's the dice. It says three right now. Did it die again? No, no, no. You're good. No, okay, you're okay. good. Uh, so I'm going to hit roll. What, uh, I'm going to say four is a dick. <laughs> okay. So okay. if I get one, two, three, five, or six, I got a free hot dog. Four, I've just oh, given a, I've accidentally free, given a guy a blowjob. A free hot dog. <laughs> All right. Hey! hey free, hot dog. Free, free hot dog, baby! Number one. Gavin, what, Gavin, let's try you. What, uh, what, <laughs> what, pick a number. Oh, that's, that's. Oh, bad. man. Yeah, we um, all have to do it. Five is the penis. All right, here we go. Hey, oh, free dog. Number three, free hot dog. Andrew, what's your number? I, I think a three is safe because it was just three. All right, here we go. That's not how chance works, but six, no. you are safe. Absolutely. Eric? Number one. Eric's rolling on number one. Number yes. five. He's very, not only did he Woo! not eat the dick. Free hot dogs. He's, he's so far away from the dick when he's eating his own yep. hot dog. Uh, no, Nick, guy. last chance. <laughs> uh, Nick, what do you got? I'll go, I'll go with a nine. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, one through six. Okay, so it's one to six. You're right. Right, 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 right. right. You're right, you're right, you're right. I don't know why I said nine. Let's go with six. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a bit. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, oh, you are, you you're were right five. next to it. Woo! You are, oh, that was close. You were cock adjacent while you're eating Je- that uh, hot dog. Jeff, Jeff, wait, wait. you think those legs would have yeah. tipped me off. Don't, yeah. you, don't you just want one more hot dog? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Let me try. Uh, I'm gonna eat hot dog. No- I'm gonna eat hot dog number two. Okay. Hey, oh, you're good. Hey. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. There's there's a guy laying in condiments going right now, going, "What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> I was like, cold. Oh, what the hell? How it do they know? Like Eric just wants to keep rolling for cock. No, no, no. I just wanted to see if Jeff That's would, Jeff's and he title. did, and he got free hot dogs, baby. I mean, I'm never hungry. I'm I'm never completely full after one dog. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it sounds like Gavin wants to keep rolling for cocks. All right, Gavin, what hot, do- what hot dog are you going to eat, Gavin? Uh, number five is the penis. There we go. Hey! 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 I got greedy. You hey, got Gavin. Greedy. Yeah. Thanks for listening to another episode of the <laughs> Face Podcast. Uh, Gavin, why don't you uh, gurkle us out? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew did it for us. Oh, gross. Uh, <laughs> I don't want this to keep going. I'm actually okay with it ending in what? Oh, I think it, I think it ended at some point. It ended with Gavin eat, eating dicks. Yep. All right. I meant the cut. show. 
No. Okay. That was a real 2007 <laughs> conversation for a podcast. Yeah, no kidding. God damn. Maybe we need Gracie back. Yes. Hey guys, Major League Fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. We are behind yet again, so here are some predictions for episode 201. Jeff starts a new business. The Panton card is worth thousands. Eric has had enough with pleasantries. Gavin got a new toy. Should we buy a bunker? And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face.